Okay, cool. So I want to go here though, right? Yes. So make sure you're in the right one, Sprouting with Steve. Okay, perfect. Now, we set up a custom conversion, right? So let's X out, X out, no, 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 no. Just X out real quick. Let's just check the custom conversion real quick. So hit the dots to the left. And then go to events manager. Let's check that real quick. What we want to do also is let's, we might as well do it now. Let's, um, okay, actually, let me move this just a little. Okay, that's too damn small. Let me. Okay, so there's, okay, so let's click on, hover over the, the blue triangle and go to custom conversions. Okay, cool. So we got both of them active which are, um, which ones are those? Get away, yeah, get out of there. Okay, perfect. So we got the presentation and we got the add to cart. Now let's double check, hit the SWS presentation. Is that the right link? Because now we're, we had to change that page. So is that the right one? Sprouting with Steve forward yes. slash? Okay. That's the, that's, the, that's the presentation page, right? Yep. Are you sure? Um, that's the right, because I know when we first clicked and logged and opted in, it took us to a different page. Uh, let's see, how would I? Go ahead and just, and, and try not to ever like hover in this builder, like always just hit the green button to the right and, and, and publish live, publish live, okay. and, then, and then return a dashboard. Okay. Let's 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 create a custom audience real quick. We need to, we need we need to set up two custom audiences. This is very very important. So go to the like so open go to up your page. go to your landing page, and open up get the coding link. Open up both pages. Open up the presentation page and then okay. open up the landing page. Okay. So copy that. Because as we roll out. We need to know, we need an audience. Oh, that one I'm letting play because I'm yeah, okay, trying to perfect. Go with it 18 minutes. Perfect. So, so there's that. And well, then we both of that, go, right? We want to go to the landing page, the opt in page. Yeah. Where is that thing? So is it the registration, SWS registration page, or is it not that yeah, one? Yeah, where is that at? I'm not, oh, it's right here. There we go. Um, okay, cool. So as we roll out, we need to know who's landing here and who's landing on the presentation page. Those right. are custom audiences. Okay, so now let's go back to Facebook, and then let's click the, the um, dots and then go to scroll down. You'll see audiences. There we go. Okay. So now what we're going to do is we're going to create custom audience. Actually, this sprouting with Steve, what, what's that? That was created in June. What, what link is that? I can't, the font is too small. Um, People interested in meditation, gardening, juicing okay. for health. That's something health. you guys saved. Okay, that's fine. Leave that there. But we'll create a new audience. Hit the blue one. So that was saved from a previous ad or something that you guys just saved an audience, but that's fine. So create audience. Custom audience. Yeah, custom audience. Okay, so now go to the landing page. This is gonna be website. Go to the landing page. And what you're gonna do is go to copy that right there, exactly that URL. Don't bring the HTTPS with it. Yeah, don't bring the www. Just copy the word, the words. There you go, perfect. Okay, copy. And then let's paste it in over here, go back to the ads manager, and we're gonna go website. Now with the video, we're gonna also create a custom audience under video. But in this case, we wanna do the website first as well. So go ahead and click on website, and then, well, can you, can you magnify your screen yeah. a little bit? Yeah, yeah, bring it up a little. 
or increase it a little. There we go. Perfect. Okay, cool. So we're going to go Sprout with Steve. That's the right pixel. And then hit the all website visitors. Drop that down. And then we're going to go people who visit specific pages. And go ahead and page, paste in that. that um, right here? Yeah, paste that in. Okay. Now, in the past 30 days, this right here is, you can go to 180 days. But what you'll want to do is you'll want to, you don't got to do it this, this second, but I'm just giving you the, the, the long-term strategy here. What you'll want to do is you'll want to create one for 30 days. You'll want to create one for 180 days. You'll want to create one for seven days. And, and that's, that's important because as you start to really, really roll out and you're, you're now on week, you know, week, let's just say, let's just say any week. It comes down to retargeting. Like what you're going to be doing with a lot of these audiences are retargeting. You're retargeting them. So do I want to retarget an audience who just watched it seven days ago? Yes. Do I want to retarget an audience who watched it in the last 30 days or who landed on my page in the last 30 days? Yeah, that'd be good. And, and, and also 180, that's the longest you can go. So creating an audience that is very specific. These are people who visited my page in the last 180 days. So do I mean, you want to, should I create three right here right now? No, let's just, let's just create this one. That way we can get this ad going right away. Okay. 30 days, leave that, leave that. That's fine. 30 days. And then name your audience. So what would that be? Web, website, website visitors. And that's all it is. Website visitors. And to really make this specific and to really, really hone down on it, you're going to exclude, so go ahead and exclude people right there, exclude to the right, exclude people, and then go ahead and go to the landing page, go to the presentation page, open up that tab, presentation page at the very top, copy this, now just that part, not the HTTPS, yeah, there you go, just that part, copy that, and bring that over. So this one right here, it's going to be, Again, the drop down specific pages. Um, specific. Okay, paste that in right there. And and this could be this could be up to 180 in the past 180. So anyone, anyone in the last 180 who has who has visited the presentation page, exclude them. Excluding them. Yeah. So, so these are strictly website visitors. They never opted in. Okay. okay. Create audience. Now let's create another one. Go ahead and hit done. Now let's create another one of everyone who lands website of everyone who lands website here again. Yeah. Specific pages. Okay, and then um, and then you can yeah, and then paste it in right there. Contains, and in the past you can go in the past yeah. Contains, leave it, paste it in. Go ahead and paste it's it right there. One. This is landing page, the presentation page. Paste that in right there. Oh, the presentation page. Yeah, you should already have it pasted. Yeah. Oh, there you go. Okay, but again, get rid of that HTTPS. You only paste in the word. Yeah, I don't know why that did that. So X that out. Just do it again. Um, Okay, cool. So this is going to be leads. So these are people who opted in. So you can go, you can go 30 to, um, yeah, go to name it, go to, go to name it leads presentation. presentation. Opt yeah. Presentation leads or whatever you want to name it, but there are people who opted in presentation opt in leads. Perfect. Now the 30, hold on, hold on. Hold on. Don't exclude anyone. No, but hold on. Don't click blue yet. The number in the past 30 days, you can go, these are leads. So these are people who opted in. Um, you can go, um, you can go 180. Anyone within the past 180 days, you know, um, this is the list. So go ahead and create audience. Hit the blue one now. Okay, so 
again, this is super important, man, because when you start running weekly ads or multiple ads hit done, you're going to, you're going to always, and it's not going to happen this second, but creating the audience right now is, is, is important. And as you go on, that's a list that you're going to be excluding. So as you go on to ad number four, ad number five, ad number six, you're going to always exclude those who already opted in. They don't need to keep right. seeing your ads. Right. Right. So that right there, it, that helps cut budget yeah. where you're not running ads to the same people over and over and over again. You know, so, um, so that's, that's good. Now we got, um, that's sprouting with Steve. I would, I would check that box and, and maybe get more specific with it. Let's, let's retitle it. Can you retitle it? Hit edit the top. Um, um, yeah, you should be able to, where's the title sprouting with Steve. Can you okay. actually, I don't think you can actually, yeah, perfect. Sprouting with Steve. You can leave sprouting with Steve, but just get more specific. Just put in parentheses, put saved audience. Saved. Yeah. Saved audience, because that's an audience that you saved as you were building the ad. So it's not a, it's, it, it's a custom audience, but at the same time, it's a saved audience that you saved from the past that you saved from the ad setup, I should say. It's not a custom audience. It is a custom audience, but it's not a custom audience. So just trying to be, just being as specific as you can with these are, are super important. So that's fine. Update, hit the blue one. Okay, cool, so you're good. So those two are, are custom audiences and, and that's, that's super important. Now, as you run this first ad, then you're going to, and I would do this maybe, maybe in a couple of days, two days, you're going to come back here. That's why you should always bookmark this. This should be bookmarked in your folder at the top. Mm -hmm. So I don't know what you have in that folder, but it's time to get very, very specific with, with these pages mm -hmm. and these folders. Cause now you're going to start spending money and this is, this is super crucial, but these folders, those ads manager, are those just, are those folders or are those just bookmarks? Um. Yeah. Okay. So that's just a bookmark. So where does this, so delete that. See, I got, this is a different computer. Oh, okay. Gotcha. Gotcha. I'm on gotcha. my desktop now. Gotcha. Okay. So go ahead and go back to the ads manager then. We'll just, um, we'll just do that part later, but yeah. I wanted you to bookmark this page. These are, this is your custom audiences. So it's good to be able to refer back to this right away. So, you got your custom audiences. Now let's go back, click the three dots. We got our custom conversions. So now let's now, and, and so here's what I'm saying. Next, after, in a couple of days, you're going to come back here and you're going to create audience. You're going to click the blue one, custom audience, and you're going to do video. And that's where you'll, you'll be able to set up a custom audience of everyone who watched 25% of this first video. And that'll be an audience you'll retarget in the future. So in the future as well, Ad number two and on, you'll always retarget website visitors. Those are people who only landed on the page and haven't opted in yet. Okay. Okay. So always use them in your retargeting. Always use your 25% video viewers and always use your website visitors in retargeting. And, and, and always exclude your opt-in leads. Okay. Okay. So now hit the, hit the dots. Let's go to ads manager. And then um, let's let's run this ad. Okay, so we're we're starting from scratch, creating an ad. Yes. No, actually, no. Let's let's go ahead and, and actually, yeah, because it should bring us back. This is like I'm in campaigns. Do we want to go to ads? No. Hit the hit the green one. Hit the hit the hit the green <clears> one. It should bring us back to where we left off. It doesn't look like anything's okay. That's fine. We'll just start from scratch then. Okay. Click on use existing campaign. See if that, if that brings us back to where we left off at the top, use uh, it's in the in middle, middle, use existing campaign. See if you can find it there. No, that's fine. So create a new campaign. That's cool. We'll just do it there. Okay. So choose your objective. 
So we're going to go, con we'll go conversions. Okay, cool. So now, again, these three steps on the left, campaign, ad set, ad, those are your three steps. Those are the three tabs that you see um, where, on the dashboard. Where, 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 to the, the left. Campaign, ad set, and ad. Yeah, those will be the three tabs that you see. So in fact, let's just go back real quick because I want you to really learn this stuff. Hit the, hit the dots to the left. Go back to the ads manager. Those are the same three tabs that you see, leave this page, that you see right here. Right. There's your campaign, there's your ad sets, there's your ads. So as you go into the okay. setup, as we click create, now it's all right. that's why it's always good to name it. That way, when you're looking at it from the dashboard, you can know exactly what campaign that is. So it's very important that you start naming. So hit conversions, or not naming, but yeah, titling, titling each step. So right here, you hit conversions, you scroll down, and you title that first campaign. So scroll down, and it'll say conversions, but just hit a dash, leave conversions, just click dash, and, and, and name it, name it whatever, name it first video or um, first ad or however you're going to remember what ad that is. First. Perfect. Perfect. Okay, cool. So now let's hit continue. Okay, cool. See, so now as you come in, now we're, now we're looking at the ad set name. So again, when you're on the dashboard, you're looking at the three tabs that will tell you which ad this is by looking at the ad set, the middle tab by simply titling it. So US 18 plus, whatever we do here is how you'll title that. That way you could just be specific with it. So if we're going to spend 20 bucks a day, a hundred bucks a day, whatever, that could be maybe somewhere in the description of that title. If we're only targeting men, if we're only targeting women, you can abbreviate that in that title. The way it looks now is we're targeting the US 18 plus. Okay, cool, but let's, we can get even more specific by putting anything else or putting more. And you don't gotta put a long sentence there, but just whatever. First you, ad. But yeah, this will be, this will be, um, yeah, you can name it whatever, but it's not even important. It, it is important. It's not required, I should say. It's not required. It's just it's important when you start looking at this data. It's just easier to look at when you know what ad set that is. You well, know, it's so, basically the same name as we, as we just named the other one, right? We are not necessarily. Like so as we go through, you'll, you'll, you'll find out. Let's just go through it. So right there in the middle, that SWS presentation, that's the custom conversion we just set up. Sometimes it's not there by default. So in this case, it's there by default. But if you exit out, it'll be red. Go ahead and exit out because sometimes, a lot of times when you come to this part, this is the ad set, second step, exit out. A lot of times it's like that, it's blank. And sometimes it's even red. So a lot of times you have to click in it and scroll through until you find the green, until you find your custom conversion, which is right there. But as you start to build more, you're going to have 50 different ones in there someday, you know, but you're looking so that, for that's so what this is telling Facebook is we want them to end up on that page yes. to can be considered conversion. Yes. Yes. That's a conversion. So that's what we're paying for. We're paying okay. to get people to get to that page. Okay. You know, we're not paying to get someone to view it. That's why on this one, you're not going to see thousands of views right? Because we're not running a video view ad. We're running a conversions ad. So I don't care if I only have 200 views. If a hundred of them opted in, I'm good to go. Right? So, so that's the page. Yeah. Okay. That's conversions presentation. So scroll down. You don't need dynamic creative. You don't need to offer right here, the audience. So again, in the future, as these audiences start to build up, they're not built yet. But right there, you'll click in the box and you'll be able to see your custom audience. So click there, click, click on create our custom audiences to the right. Actually, it's, they're, they're right there. They're, they're, they're the only two that you created, but those are your two audiences. So in the future, you don't got to do it now, but as you start to build them up, then it's website visitors, which I'll always include. 
And then the opt-in leads, I'll always exclude. So if you click out, click out, you'll see the exclude right there. So I can exclude my leads. Okay. Okay. So that's super important, but you don't, you don't have an audience now, so don't worry about it. But in the future, add, I would say add number two and on start implementing include and exclude. Okay. So right here, obviously your location, your age, your gender, your, your detailed targeting. And on a, on our other call, we tried looking at the audience insights, but it didn't pull up. Remember? So maybe we yeah. could take a look at it again and see if it, if it pulls up. Because the detailed that? targeting, you want all genders, you want 30 to 65. So go ahead and click on edit, detailed targeting. Should I go with females? It's up to you. I mean, whoever the heck you think your customer is. That's I would think the, all. Okay, I'll just do all. And so that's where that's where testing comes in. Yeah. Testing is going to come in the form of that. One ad you run to just men. Another ad you run to just female. Another ad, the third ad you run to all genders. That's yeah. testing. So you'll start to play around with that for sure. Um, and should, then we, should we do that today with the hundred dollars? Say thirty three dollars for men, thirty three for women, thirty three for all. Um, we can, we can, we can, or, do, or, or just run it to all from 30 to 65 and just see. Yeah, because I mean, will, will we, will we be able to tell, let's, let's say that a hundred people in this age group from all opt in, can we tell how many are women, how many are men? Yep. You sure can. Okay. So let's just wait on that then. Yeah. Yeah. And in, in the beginning you want to, you want to run it as broad as possible. So you can start, right. to see the start data. narrowing in, right? Yeah, you'll start narrowing it in. And you'll start knowing who your your ideal audience is. So right here, detail targeting. Let's um, open up another tab, and let's let's see if we can find the audience insights because I know last time it wasn't pulling up for whatever reason. So open. Go go. Just go to that ads manager to the very right. That tab to the very right, ads manager. That tab you already have open. No. Yeah, that's fine. Okay, so go, go click on the dots to the left, and then click on, um, scroll down, go to audience, do you see audience insights? Where's audience insights? There we go. Okay, everyone on Facebook. Perfect, now we should be good. Okay, so go ahead and, and you're going all United States, age and gender. Do I need to change this up here? Uh, no, no, you don't have to. You can, but no, it's, it's actually, that's fine. That's fine. Um, you know, all United States, age and gender, go ahead and choose whichever age. Okay, so 32. Yeah, okay, perfect. Got that. And then just go ahead and leave it all. And then interest, go ahead and put in that interest, that keyword. Perfect. Okay, cool. So we should be good right here. So go ahead and um, see, I don't know why it's not updating, man. I don't know why it's not showing you the, the stats. Try clicking on page likes. Uh, where's that? Right at the top, page likes, next to demographics, towards the middle, you're right there. Yeah, dude, it's not updating. Facebook has some hiccup going on. Oh. Do I need to put something in here? No, because you already have you already have United States. Let me check it on my end. Let me see if I can um okay. let me see if I can find it if I can if it updates on my end. Here we go. You got it? Oh, perfect. What'd you do? I, I actually went, I just typed in gardening, but then there were like some sub things in here that I had okay. to get to gardening. Okay, cool. So here's your demographics. 69% women, 31% men. Might be good to just target women. 
And then you, lo you look down, relationship status. Scroll down. It's down, down, down. Relationship status, 72%. Um, se what's the 72%? Are those 72%? Okay, because I can't see it. So 72% yeah. are married. So you might want to target women who are so, married. So women who are so married. Women. Now, where where would I do the married at? Well, no, we're just looking at the data right now. We're going to target okay. that when we go back to the ad. Scroll up. So to click on page likes. So this will give you a list of all the pages that these people follow that are the most important so are the most popular so magazine when it comes to a magazine dusty old thing southern living um home decor joss and maine pier one you target people you target women who are married that follow pier one or pottery barn you know or you you go after you know when it comes to clothing women who are married who follow the mint julep boutique you know so this is how you really really dig in to data um so southern living click on click on scroll down real quick to page likes go down a little lower 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 okay so right here page likes birch lane so 90 or actually um yeah so birch lane Joan Fabric and Craft Stores. So these are all different targeting points. So this is what can go into the detailed targeting. So of do, I have, do, I have to rem, do I have to remember these? <clears throat> so I'm, I'm trying to identify, do I have to remember these names so when I go back to the ad, I can target them? Yeah, I mean, that'd be good. I mean, making a list and, and just knowing who your audience follows. Okay. You know, could be very very beneficial you know so for example click on a few things click on um, so, so help i like clean clean food crush click on it click on it open go to the page so clean food crush two million people follow the page this is yeah, this this is this is a page where you know people who want to eat healthy and sprout. Yes, man. Clean food. So that would be a page that I'd like to target. Yeah, let's just keep it that simple. Let's let's okay. let's keep it that simple right now. Let's target women. Okay, so I'm back over here. Go back I've to the ads manager. Yeah, we're gonna target women only, and we're gonna test. We're gonna test women only, and then type in that page. Right here. Yep. Okay, maybe go back to the page. It's it's not it's not the username because that's the username, all one word, but the title. Go back to the page. This is the page. No, go back to the page. Go back to the Facebook business page. Go back to their page. This is their food crush. Clean food so crush. It's all one word, clean food crush. I wonder why it's not pulling up. Try to space out the words. Try, try to just space it out, see if anything pops up. Clean. Yeah, it should it should pull up and it's not okay. So go to click on browse to the right. Click on browse right there, and then and then go to go to interest. Click on interest, and see if we can business and int food and drink hobbies activities shopping and fashion. Um, So you should be able to target the page, but if you can't target the page, go back to the audience insights real quick. Let's see if we can find just a, a more general keyword than if it's not the page. Go to, let's, how about, um, where is it here? Um, okay, so that, so that's the category. Okay, so the category isn't there. Scroll down. Let's look at um, 
any of these, these page likes. Um, Birch Lane, what's Birch Lane? Birch Lane, to make your dream classical styled home and reality. Yeah, it looks like it's a little bit more decor. Yeah, that's decor. Probably a certain product line. Okay, so this is where you want to be. You want to target the, the category. Health and wellness website is what it was. No. Just look at what's in the drop down for health and wellness. Go back one, one, one space. Well, this is kind of, this is where we'd want to be, health and wellness. Yeah. Um, so do I have to choose one of those? Yeah, let's choose, let's choose one. Let's obviously choose the biggest one. And, and we'll go with, yeah, we'll go with, Alter with alternative medicine. I mean, people are always looking yeah, for. Yeah, let's go interest, wellness. Go with that one. And again, so this is this is where your testing comes in. So you would go, you would go four different audiences, twenty five dollars per audience, and there's okay. your hundred bucks a day, testing so, four different audiences. So type in. Um, no, leave this one. Leave this one. Leave this one. Just one. Just just go with one. Okay. And, and the reason for it is because you got to know which audience is the one that pops. If you put yeah. in seven different ones here, you're not going to know which one is the one. That's why you separate them. So, oh, oh, okay. So, you know what I mean? So that right there is a good one. Let's just, let's, let's rock with this one. Show more options. Go down, show more options. Let's just click on that just for that. Okay. Perfect. So we're good there. See, so that other, so right here, you clicked on save this audience. Don't do it, but that's what, that's what Steve must've done or whoever you must've done that before. Yeah. That's how you ended up with that other custom audience. Okay. Because you saved it right here. So scroll down. Let's go edit placements. Um, manual placement. I'm sorry. Manual placement. Automatic placement is when Facebook puts it everywhere. You well, don't we want, want it right everywhere. In the feed, right? You want to uncheck everything except for Facebook and then uncheck everything other than newsfeed. So leave newsfeed and then just uncheck everything else. The check, the boxes, the checks, uncheck, 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 all that. Facebook video feed, we don't all want that. It, all of it, all of it. All we need is newsfeed. So uncheck, no, leave that one, leave that one. That's newsfeed. Okay. So uncheck everything else. Oh, down here, you mean? Yeah. Okay, cool. So show more options. Okay, good. So we're good. And here's, an, here's another thing too. And this is, this is a part of testing. That's why this is all testing, man. But another form of testing would be when you, when you look at devices, click on edit. So you can go and only target mobile devices or, or not, not actually not that part. Scroll down. It's, 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 it's the, um, it's the, let's see, where the hell is it at? It's the, um, Well, do I want all mobile Android? Yeah, you want you want all, but what I was looking for is mobile or desktop. Yeah. That should be, I think that's a little lower. But a form of testing is when you run ads to only mobile and or run ads to only desktop and yeah. or run ads to both desktop and mobile users. <laughs> right. So that's another form of testing. But again, I'm just giving you all the, all the most important, crucial basics right now. And then as you get better, you'll start testing different variations. So daily budget, go ahead and go 25. Run this ad continuously, that's fine. Show more options. Okay, good, so we're good, we're good there. So just go ahead and click continue. Okay, good. So now um, you can leave the ad set name. That's fine. And then use existing post. Um, where's that at? 
right there in the middle, use existing post. Okay. And then just find that post. So select post, select yeah. post right there. Yeah. I think it's this one right here, right? Yeah, that's the one. Cool. And then continue. Okay, awesome. And then scroll down. So the learn more button. Scroll down. So that's the that's the page, right? Register to. Yep. yep. Okay, good. Okay, so we're good. So scroll down, scroll down, make sure it's the right pixel. Scroll down, scroll down, scroll down, down, down. Okay, so the pixel, that's the right pixel. Okay, cool. So we're good. So go ahead and publish. Hit the hit the button in the bottom right. Scroll down. Confirm. To confirm. Yeah, confirm. Good. Okay, so hit confirm. And then let me just show you how to look at the ad um, in in the news feed. So go ahead and, and check the box to the very left. You got campaigns right below the green. Yeah, check that box. And then go to the last tab, third tab, ads for one campaign. Click on that. And then click on edit. So again, here's what I was saying. You have a title default name dash conversions because you didn't title it. As you look at it from this view, you want to get more specific with those titles so you can know exactly which ad that was. Because if you look at default name conversions, okay, you don't know where's it. The, where's the name of it? As we were setting up the ad, which no, but I mean, click on in edit. Here, in, yeah, in here. click on edit. Edit. Here? Yeah, no, 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 edit. Click on the word edit. You see the word edit right there. So at the top of each step, there's that title, default name conversion. So, I'm okay, so now this is where we want to do the health and identify it as women, health and wellness. No, that's on step two. That's the ad set. That's the middle tab. Okay. Right here, you can just, you can just, you can leave this here. You can leave that there, leave default name conversions because you're, you, you titled the first tab. The first tab was conversions. You titled it very specific on the first tab. Watch, get out of here. Go back to the first tab. How do I get out? So right above, up, 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 right there, right there. Perfect. Click that. So click on that first tab, campaigns. So you titled it very specific right here. Conversions, first main landing page, video ad. I guess you could take that same title and do the third one. But as long as you know the first one right there, yeah, then you're good. And then when you look at the ad sets, click on the middle tab. That's where you could put women, 30, that that's where you want to because right here all you did is put first ad right so and again this is as you really roll out multiple ads you'll want to get very specific and and even as we do four ad sets on this one we're going to want to be specific with this title so we can look at all four and know which one is which this is first ad women 30 to 65 the second ad set and and do 25 dollars you know, right, you know, yeah, wellness, perfect dash, $25. Perfect. So that, that's, that's good. That's good naming right there. So go ahead and publish. Actually, you know what? Let, let's, let's copy that. Yeah, that's fine. Publish. And then just copy it. Cause copy we're going to, we're going to do it again. Copy the name. Yeah. Copy it. But, but the next one will be all gender. Right. So at least we'll have at least a basis. Uh oh, gotcha. Right. So go ahead and um, get out of there. But let me show you how to see the ad real quick. So click on the third tab, ads, and then click on edit right below conversions. Click on edit. Okay, perfect. So now you're going to click on to the very right above, right there, down, 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 right there. Click there and then just hit the, hit the drop down and go scroll down to, um, to newsfeed. Yeah, desktop newsfeed. Uh and then you can see the ad on what it's going to look like in the news feed. So just scroll through, scroll through, scroll through, and there goes the ad right there. Now, this ad is in my news feed, but it's going to be going out now. Yep, to everybody else who you're targeting. This is just giving you a demo of what it looks like. So okay. go back to the ads manager. And then let's now go to um, close this one out. Go to, click on the middle tab, ad sets. 
because we're going to do a second ad set. Yeah. So now what we're going to do is we're going to so uncheck uncheck the third the ads. Actually, no, 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 no. The blue one selected, X that out the, on this the here? third tab ads to the right, right there. The blue one. X that out. Yeah, X that out. What is that? It's just just exit out. It's 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 just okay. showing that you're still on that on that tab. We want to get out of that tab. Do I exit out here too? No, you can leave that one. Okay. So now check the box right here. Yeah, check the box, and then we're gonna duplicate. So we're gonna duplicate. Right there, it says duplicate above, right? Duplicate. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna duplicate three times. So the number of copies, move that one to two, or to three, I mean. There we go. Perfect, so original campaign, perfect. So now, what you just created is, is four of them, $25 each, and now on each one, so make sure that we're in the second one. The first one is is okay. So this is this is the this is the cut. No 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 no. What are you doing? Don't do nothing. Exit of this. What'd you do? I'm not sure. Okay. Exit that, exit that out. Okay. So now now let's just um, let's just leave check the the second one. So uncheck the top one, uncheck the third one. Let's work on that second one. Go to the edit. And now let's change the targeting on this. So whether we're going to target all gender or target maybe just men, this is where you start playing around with it. So, um, and, and all you're changing is the targeting. So, yeah. so where was that? The audience? Everything else. Scroll down until you see it. So whether you go all gender or whether you go just men and you think I'll go yeah you got four of them so let's just do what uh, I want to do I want to do one with all or yeah, should we do, do this one I, all? Yeah, I don't would you waste it on men only men may, probably not probably not and that's why when you I, when I look at everybody who's bought my course it's it's 75 percent women okay well then dang just go with women so then here's what you're going to do you're going to leave the age. You're going to leave women on all four. What you're going to change is the targeting. So yeah. wellness. So, the, so I don't, do I want to edit this then? Yeah, we want to edit that. So we're going to change the detailed targeting on these other three. So get rid of wellness. X that out. X out the wellness. And this is the like first one. Is this the first one or the second one? We're working on the second one. We're here. working on the second one. Okay, good. Okay. And then also you're going to change the title of it. So yeah. once, once I know who it, what we're. Yeah. But I want more of the gardening. I wish I. Maybe type in the keyword gardening. Found. Well, it's right here. Yeah. So, so home, home and garden. Target home and garden. So just go go to the ads, go to the go to go to the detail targeting. Just home and garden is the word. Let's yeah. get out of here. Go to the other tab. Go back to the ad. Okay, so just type in home and garden. Because we got four of them, dude. So we gotta we gotta get this home, home and garden. Okay. Yeah, there you go. Target that interest right there. Bam. And then, and then change the title at the top to home and garden, not wellness. Perfect. And then, and then publish. Bam. Perfect. Okay, cool. Now let's go to the third one and let's, let's um, uncheck that second one. Um, should I hit this publish dress? 
Yeah, it already it already published, but just hit it again. Okay, so now well I've only got two here. Oh, there's a yeah, so always uncheck and, and only check one at a time. Cause then you'll change both it's of them. Not unchecking though. There it is. Okay, so now when I hit the yeah, third edit. one. Yep. Okay, and so we want to go down here. Audience, custom. Oh, nothing under that name or that keyword. Or oh, there we go. Present. There we go. Uh -huh. No, yeah, take that one out. That one's too small. Retype it and see what else drops down. Okay. Okay, so you're looking for the biggest one, obviously, and you're looking for interest. Well, what's that second one? Raw food what? Raw, raw food recipes? Yeah. That's a good Six, one. Actually, 621. That one has 7 million. Yeah, let's go with that one. Let's go with the top one. What okay. is it? Raw food what? Ism. Raw food ism. Hmm, okay. So okay, change cool. the so, name. Yeah, change the title. Yep. And then you can always take out the word copy as well. Take out that word copy just to kind of clean it up. Okay, good. Publish? Yeah, publish. Okay, cool. So let's do the fourth one and, and we're good. So this is what you call split testing. You're split testing different audiences to see which one actually converts. And then you'll turn off the other three. Um, and whatever you're spending on that other three, that first one should make up for what you just spent on these other three. That's how you want to look at it. Yeah. So if that one out of four pops and that one makes sales, you go all in with that one and make back your money that you've spent on those other three. So um, this is one form of testing, of split testing, the ad set. The other form of split testing is when you change up the ad so in this case, you have, you, you have videos, but um, if you had four different videos, then you would split test that, right? So you can do the, the four split test on the ad side of it all. You just switch out the video or switch out the image. Um, I'm, I'm not searching in the right spot here probably, am I? No, yeah, you are, you are. Um, go ahead and, um, well, that one was coming up. Uh, you would think indoor gardening would have something indoor. Yeah. What about just the word gardening? You haven't used that one. Why don't you use that one? That one's a power, power word. Gardening. You want interest, right? Yeah. Interest. Oh, that's a lot. Oh yeah. Go with that one. Perfect. Change the title and then just take out the word copy. Didn't have the word copy, but. Okay, good. Publish. Perfect. Publish. Cool, man. And then, and then, and then uncheck that box and go to the second box, check that second box and just take out the word copy just for the heck of it. Check the second box. Yeah. Just clean it up. There we go. Perfect. Okay, cool, man. And then publish, publish. And, and you're good. So You'll be in in a review status for, I mean, it could be it could be a few hours, um, it could be it could even be a day, but normally a few hours. So just go ahead and close this out. By right up here. Yeah. So now let's um, uncheck that second box. Go ahead and close that out. Uncheck that second box. X. Yeah, there we go. Let's go back to the first tab, campaigns, and let's just look at what we what we got. So we created our custom audiences. We created our custom conversions. Um, in, in a few days, I would say three days, go and create a custom audience around 
the 25 percenters of who, of who watched that video. Actually, you know what? Let's see if we could do it now. Let's see if we could do it now real quick. But let me just, let, let's just look at this real quick. So right there, we got, our, we got our campaign conversions. Let's click on the second tab. We have our four ad sets. That looks good. Click on that. That's all in review. Okay, that looks good. And then the third tab, third, click on the third tab. Where does it say in review? Right there, review. To the left of lower cost. Uh, I can't. To the, to the left of lower cost. You see lower oh, cost. Yeah, it's kind of. Yeah, just okay. take the bar at the bottom and scroll it to the left. That long gray bar at the bottom, scroll it to the left. Or you can move it there. But it's that bot. It's that bar at the bottom. Go to the oh. bottom. Oh, bottom, bottom. oh, gotcha. Yeah, that. Yeah, scroll okay. down. Okay, now click on the third tab. You got your. So those are in review. This should be in review. Click on that. Those are all in review. Um, and you're good. So actually, I wonder. I wonder if this is this is right. Normally, it's it's you just you just duplicate the ad set. You don't duplicate the ad. This is showing that it duplicated the ad, but I wonder if that's how it is by default. Because I was looking for only one over here, not four. Okay. But. Well, it, you know, it says all, they're all different. It's got the wellness, the home and garden. The... Yeah, that, that, that's fine. You, you're, you're fine. Cause you're the 25 bucks. It's just, it's just one 25 bucks. It shouldn't be 50 bucks a day on each one. And you'll see that right away. So after 24 hours, go look at that budget spent. It's either going to be, it's either going to be a hundred. Here, here's what you're going to do in 24 hours. Once, once it goes live, once it approves, you'll get an email saying your ad is live or scheduled to be ran. You'll, you'll receive that email for sure. Once it approves. In 24 hours from that point, you're going to look at your budget, look at, look at the amount spent and you'll be able to see it on the campaign. So click on the first tab. So right here at the bottom, you'll see amount spent. So right there, you'll see amount spent and it'll be, it'll be for, for everything. So you'll either see a hundred bucks or you'll see 200 bucks. It should only be a hundred bucks. Um, if it's 200 bucks, then it's running, it's running four ad sets and it's running four ads, those four videos. But I don't think it's, I don't think it's running those four. I don't think it's, I don't think it's going to be 200 bucks a day. It's, it should be 100 bucks a day, 25 bucks per mm -hmm. ad set. So just check that either in 24 hours, it's hundred bucks spent or in 24 hours, it's 200 bucks spent. And if it's 200 bucks spent, it's because there's four of these ads, which what you're going to do is you're going to go in and, and, and turn three of the blue to, to, to gray. But I don't think you're going to have to do that. I don't think you're going to have to do that. So in 24 hours, you're looking for a hundred bucks to be spent. Okay. okay. So, um, so that's that man, that's that, that's how, that's how you're going to split test. And then as you start to grow these audiences, um, actually, you know what? Yeah. As you start to grow these audiences, you'll be, you'll just continue to retarget different audiences and that's what you'll, you'll be testing right now. You're right now. You're, 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 you're testing four cold audiences. What you eventually want to do is get to the point where you're, where you're testing four different custom audiences. So I'm running, I'm running 25 bucks a day to my website visitors. I'm running 25 bucks a day to my uh, people who watch 25% of my videos, right? You'll start testing that way as you start to build these audiences. Mm -hmm. Right now you're running a cold ad and that's, that's the beginning. So go back to the ads manager real quick. Let's create an audience real quick of, um, and this will be the last one. So let's click on those dots and go to audiences. And let's just create a custom audience real quick. I'm pretty sure we can do it now. Uh, I don't think you have to wait till the ad approves, but hit the green one or the blue, the green, the, hit the blue one. So create audience. Custom audience. Yeah. And we're going to go video. And then go ahead and um, click right there engagement and go, go 25%. 
I mean, one, 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 is, one powerful audience as well, especially in the very, very, very beginning is the 15 seconds, but it's kind of up to you. I mean, 25% of what, what was it? A four minute video. So that's, we're looking for yeah. people who watched at least a About minute. A minute. Right? Yeah. Okay. So that's going to be obviously a smaller audience than people who watched 15 seconds. Right. And even 15 seconds is a good amount of time as well. If you really think about it, for you to sit there and watch 15 seconds of something, that's that, that in social media world, that kind of is a yep. long time. So it's up to you. We can go 25% or, or the 15 seconds. Uh, let's, go, let's go 15 seconds. Let's go 15 seconds. And then go ahead and, and choose that one and then choose videos. Uh, click on choose. Uh, yeah, click on that one. It's this one here. Yep, it's that one right there. So go ahead and check the box and then confirm. And then let's name it as well. So go ahead and give it an audience name. No, you uh, can need that one. Get, get out of that one. No, not, oh. not there. Not there. Get out of that one. Audience name right below it. Click out. So audience name. And then just name it 15 seconds. So, um, or name it something like that. Audience name, you know, watched 15 seconds of first video or landing page video or what, however the heck you're going to remember it. Perfect. And then create audience. So that audience will start to build as that ad starts to run. That's powerful. So those are people that you'll always use to retarget in the, in the, in the second step, which is your ad set in your custom audience. You'll always want to retarget those people. Okay, so hit next and then done. And then later on is lookalike audiences, which I'll teach you later on. You don't need that right this second. So, so you're good. Presentation opt-in leads, website visitors. You'll always no, retarget websites. When it says availability. What's that? No, never mind. What's that? I was trying to see. Yeah, yeah. So they're, they're all ready. Okay. Yeah, they're all... I mean, one of the leads is pending, but that's fine. You're not going to use those anytime soon. You'll, you'll use these audiences more towards ad number two and, and on. Okay. But you're set to go, man. You're set to go. So let me know. Keep me posted. Run it for at least, I would say at least you want to go for at least, why don't you, why don't you do this? Schedule a call. Yeah, let's do this. Schedule a call four days from now or five days from now. So we could just go back to my calendar and, and, and schedule a call for four or five days from, from now. And let's revisit this. Okay. Okay. Cool. But they should be, I mean, as far as everything's concerned, we're, we're running an ad as soon as they approve it. Oh yeah. That light, that ad's going live once they approve it. And I don't see why they wouldn't approve it. So expect that live, that ad to go live tonight. Okay, cool. And then I'll start the like ad tonight as well. And I'll send you just a, you know, confirmation or a receipt or whatever for the ad. So you'll have okay. record of that, but that ad will go live and we'll target everyone that fits the interest of gardening and just get pop that comma in that number right away. Okay. Okay. So let's chat in a few days, pastor, and then we'll go from there. Okay. Awesome. Thank you right, so Bob. much. I'm so yeah. happy I got an ad up. It's like, <laughs> yeah, you got multiple ads up. So we'll see which one pops. One of them should, yeah. man. You have an awesome product. Yeah. So okay. We'll chat in a few days. Appreciate it. I'm going right, to, uh, I'll send you log in and you and your wife start oh, going. Oh, man. Please course. do. Please start, do, Pastor. That would be awesome. Okay. Sounds we'll good. do. Thank you, boss. All right. Bye bye. Bye.